I had tried to leave this video out for a little bit because this one was kind of difficult to make and honestly I don't even know what I'm going to say in this video I'm just gonna go off of my instincts and just spout out whatever it is that first comes to mind because what point is there in trying to formulate something when it's not genuine so in this video we're going to be talking about my 2018 2019 expectations for Adam Gaudet. I already made videos on this same topic about guys like Brock Besser, Ben Hutton, and Bo Horvat. Today, we're covering another center, the second center in a row, Adam Gaudet. What are my expectations for 2018-19 for Vancouver Canucks depth player Adam Gaudet? And is it even fair for me to say that he is a depth player? If we take a look at what Adam Gaudet accomplished in 17-18, it's very, very mainstream. It's very obvious to anybody who has been paying attention to the media that Adam Gaudet was a beast in 2017-2018. Playing for the Northeastern University Huskies, he was definitely, definitely the best player on the team, if not for a few really good goaltending performances and a great, fantastic line mate in Dylan Zakura. 60 total points for Adam Gaudet in 38 games played, for Northeastern University in this most previous season, he was an absolute monster. First in points, first in goals, Hobie Baker winner in the NCAA. Definitely, definitely one of the best performances we've seen from a Canucks prospect in a long time. A lot of people weren't necessarily expecting him to become this quote-unquote good because when Adam Gaudet was drafted, it was the bester year. It was 2015, and we just drafted him straight out of the USHL. This was the same league that Brock Besser was playing for the Waterloo Blackhawks in. And we drafted Besser with a mid-20s pick. He was playing in the USHL. He was a really good player in the USHL. And we were like, yeah, okay, he's going to be good, but... Honestly, we were sort of comparing Brock Besser at the time to Kyle Connor because Kyle Connor was also in the USHL, he had more points than Besser, and as a result, he got drafted a little bit earlier. So a lot of people were sort of thinking that, yeah, Besser would probably be just a little bit of a step down from Kyle Connor. And even more of a step down from Brock Besser is Adam Gaudet, who in 2014 15 with the Cedar Rapids Rough Riders grabbed himself 30 points in 50 USHL games played. This was not necessarily a super outstanding performance. And a lot of people just looked at all the scouting reports and said, oh, maybe he's going to become something. He looks like a hard worker. I like him. And that's all we saw in our fifth round pick, Adam Gaudet. By the way, that pick that we used to pick up Adam Gaudet was the pick that the Vancouver Canucks got from the New York Rangers in exchange for Rafael Diaz. Remember him? Yeah. Eventually, throughout the next few years, we would talk about Adam Gaudet as he proceeded through Northeastern University. In his freshman season with the club, he grabbed himself 30 points in 41 games played. Definitely not a shy freshman season. Going over to his sophomore season, 52 points in 37 games played, a huge step up. And a lot of people were thinking, oh my goodness, Adam Gaudet might actually be really, really legit here. And legit he was. Because in the next season, this most previous season, we already talked about it. Hobie Baker winner, Beanpot winner. He was a really outstanding player in the most previous college season. And he earned himself a spot with the Vancouver Canucks. In the final few games of the NHL's regular season, Adam Gaudet played five games. With the Vancouver Canucks, in the big club, and in the spotlight. Because everybody was thinking, oh my goodness... This is like the same thing that happened with Brock Besser. And Brock Besser finished up his really good college season, came over to the Canucks to end off the season, and came in the season afterwards an absolute monster. So Adam Gaudet is a guy who has a lot of expectations put on him, but a lot of people at the same time recognize that Adam Gaudet literally is not going to be the same as Brock Besser because... Adam Gaudet was a fifth-round pick. He's a guy who wasn't necessarily supposed to be at the level of a Brock Besser. But alas, here we are. It's June, and we're now thinking about what is Adam Gaudet going to come to in 2018-19. So Gaudet is a player who, let's face it, nobody knows. We have no idea. He might not even make the NHL. He might get sent down to the AHL and continue his professional career over there. 
If I had to say personally, though, based off of his five games played at the end of 2017-18, Adam Gaudet looked pretty good. He was a hard worker, he forechecked really nicely, and there were a lot of moments where he was playing the game where I was just like, man, he needs better line mates. Because there were many opportunities throughout the five games that he played where I saw Adam Gaudet do nifty little passes, little drop passes, little drives to the net, and his guys weren't open for him. There are moments where I was watching Gaudet and I was like, yeah, no, he's trying to make a play here. He doesn't want to score. He's trying to set somebody up. But nobody's in the position to receive a pass. And I think that's something that definitely would be needed to improve on. Because, obviously, if Gaudet is trying to make offense, he needs offensive players around him. But at the same time, I did see a good mind for the game in Adam Gaudet as he stepped into the NHL. He was a good forechecker, good hard worker, and he had a really interesting vision for things that he wanted to do out there on the ice. It's just that the teammates weren't there to support him. So going forward into 2018-19, I don't know what I want to expect from him. Because in his five games that he played in 17-18, he got zero points in five games. That's fine, I guess, considering that he's fresh from college, but what do we expect next season? I think the biggest expectation for me for Adam Gaudet going into 2018-19, it's just, make the team. Is that, is that fair to say? Like, I want Adam Gaudet to make the team and become an established, let's say, third-line guy. Because sadin has gone. Horvat up, first line. Sutter, second line, sure. Who's on that third line? Are we going to have Tyler Mott in that third line? I'd rather have Gaudet. I want to give Gaudet that opportunity. And in my opinion, that's the biggest expectation here. I don't really care about goals or points or whatever. I just want him to make the team and be an established NHLer. Because that's where the first step is taken. Just making the league. Brock Besser, he was a complete wild card. He was a guy who nobody really expected to have the fantastic rookie season that he did. Heck, people were contemplating before the season started, 17-18, that Besser wouldn't even be on the team. Oh, Brock Besser might need AHL time. He might need to spend some time with the Utica Comets. He'll probably make his way and end 17-18 with the Canucks, but he might need some Utica Comets time. Nope! Calder finalist, 29 goal point man, 55 points, fantastic, 60-something games played. Brock Besser, a true diamond in the rough in this scenario. Adam Gaudet, if he replicates that, my goodness, an absolute gem of a steal in the fifth round. But, of course, that's most likely not going to happen, so all we can do is just hope for the best with Gaudet's development. And that's all I want here. Make the NHL. If Gaudet goes down to the AHL, of course, I expect him to dominate that league, and I expect him to really be one of the key guys that they start to rely on in Utica. But the expectation for me personally is to make the team in a top nine role. That's all I want here. I don't want to put any numbers on this. I don't want to be the guy who says that I expect Gaudet to get himself seven goals and 12 assists. I don't want to be that guy. Because that's so unpredictable, especially for a guy who has a really small sample size in the NHL. I just want him to make the team. And through making the team, I think that Adam Gaudet will find the majority of his learning through this experience. He needs, in my opinion, to find his way through the NHL, playing some games, going up against tough lines, being on that third line, fourth line maybe even, penalty killing. He needs to find a way to adapt himself to what the NHL has to offer, because it is a different game. We saw Brock Besser, he adjusted really well because, my goodness, his mind for the game is fantastic. And I understand that Adam Gaudet has a really good mind for the game too. It's just that, you know, line mates, they might not really be at the same level as he has. And, you know, for sure, we're not going to split up Horvat and Besser, right? So, that's it. That's it for me. Be an NHLer. That's my expectation for 1819 for Adam Gaudet. You guys can call me on the comment section below. You're being too soft on him. What the heck? Or why are you talking about just this? Give us point predictions and everything. I don't want to do that with Gaudet. I can do that with Horvat. I can do that with Besser. But not Gaudet. He's a different situation here. And I just really hope for the best for this kid. And any kind of player who we're taking a look at and expecting to make the NHL just a few years after being drafted in the fifth round, 
is a player that we should be excited for, because he literally is, by definition, a steal. The fact that a lot of guys before him in the 2015 NHL entry draft aren't even close to playing in the NHL is a miracle. And I thank Judd Brackett for blessing us with this talented Northeastern University alumni. Hope you guys enjoyed this miniature applause. Gaming and bye. <laughs>